Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be going through like just a quick brow routine. So my updated brow routine with updated products and techniques and things like that just because I have had a few requests and I have had a few new products come through so I thought well new products come through. I mean like I've tried new products. I don't really like how they have wind wearing on my brows so I thought I'd just show you guys my updated brow routine. It's nice and structured and like kind of like that insta brow just because that's what I've been feeling lately. But yeah, so I'll just quickly run through that with you guys. Just a few techniques and tips that I've found have worked well, especially for my really full brows. Sometimes I find them like find it hard to kind of give them a proper shape because they're just so full. But I mean, I'm not complaining. It's just that's just how it is. But yeah, so let's get to it, shall we? So really, the uh, new product I'm going in with, new kind of newish. You would have seen it in my faux color um, review thing. You would have seen it in my folklore review um, video, link down below, if you would like to check it out. But I got this brow gel slash like cream, um, which I've been loving putting through my brows. I also use the powder as well, just because I like an intense brow. But you do have the option in this like tutorial just to use the brow gel if you prefer. So this is the shade. I got the shade dark brown, like yeah, 03 dark brown. And it comes with like a little angled brush with like a little blender at the top. I don't use this blender. I just like to use the angled part to really chisel out the brows. And then I'll go in with my other angled brow brush with the powder. And I'll just start um, basically just giving shape to the brows. So I just start from the bottom and work all the way to the end of the brow. So I bring it all the way through toward the end of my brow and I'll just stop it kind of where it naturally finishes I don't like to extend my brows out really anything really from their natural shape I like to kind of keep my natural brow shape just going to give it a bit more uh, structure I guess I'll bring it back along the top of my brow as well I'm kind of outlining it per se with this gel and then with whatever's left on the brush, I'm literally just filling it in. Just this kind of tail end of the brow, I guess. And just because the colour is slightly off, I like to go in with a powder over the top. Plus it just sets it a little more in place, I find. So now that I've got the kind of initial brow kind of gel in place, that's it with this. I won't use it in the head of my brow. I prefer something a little bit more soft. Hence why I like going in with like a brow powder. So, also don't mind at this step if it's still a little bit messy. Like I can see mine's a little bit like half ass kind of thing. So I'm going to carve it out afterwards. But I just like to get the initial product in. And then I can just work with it after. So I'm going to take my two powders. Of course, in every other tutorial I've used them. <laughs> but I'm going to use the deep brown and the soft brown shade. So I'm just going in with my angled brow brush taking that middle shade from the soft the soft brown palette and I'm just where the head of the brow kind of starts I'm literally resting those like edges of the brush hairs down on the bottom end of my brow where I want the product to begin and just flicking it up very lightly kind of blending it into the gel same on this side, rest it and then flick to get that nice sharp defined line on the bottom of the brow and then just flicking it up. Then next I'm going to take this well loved like middle shade from the dark brown palette and I'm just going to kind of trace over that gel just to kind of give it a little tinge of that brown because I feel like it's a bit too much of like a reddish undertone for my brows. Plus having that cream down just creates such a nice sharp line that I just wasn't getting before with just the brow powder. And then before I go in with like the gel, I'll go and carve out my brows with my, of course, my MAC paint pot in soft ochre. Just got like a nice chiseled cut brow, guys, like real crisp. So I not only carve out the bottom, I also like to carve out the top as well. And I'll just use my finger to blend out the edges. I always blend up into the skin to kind of fade that paint pot into it. 
And then as my final step, I'm going to take my tinted brow gel from Rimmel in the shade Dark Brown. And just run that through my brow hairs. So guys, this concludes today's brow routine. I really hope you enjoy this really quick, speedy, kind of updated brow routine. I mean, there's only like an added product and step in there, but I really think it makes all the difference. But yeah, I hope you enjoyed it. And if you have any requests for future coming, like for future upcoming videos, please let me know down below. Otherwise, have an amazing day. I love you all so much and I'll see you very soon. Bye.